this is Cherry at the movies. I'm going to tell you what to see this Thanksgiving week and what to avoid at the movies. So we're going to start off with one of my favorite new movies that just came out, Rise of the Guardians. It is a beautifully animated 3D film that is fun, has great characters, great voices, and a story that I found pretty interesting because I'd never read any of the books. This is a great film for all ages, not just children, but the whole gang. So adults can go see it, kids can go see it. It's a good movie. And it's one of the few movies that if your family tradition is to go see a movie on Thanksgiving Day, you will definitely enjoy Rise of the Garden. Next is Red Dawn. Now there are those who are also children of the 80s who saw the original Red Dawn with Patrick Swayze, who might be tricked into thinking that this new remake is just as fun, but I'm sorry, it is not. I did not give it a passing grade, so just skip this. There's enough action to justify the boredom of them talking. No one wants to hear these kids talk about anything, and the storyline is simply ludicrous. It's unacceptable. So do not go see Red Dawn this Thanksgiving weekend. Now, the next movie that is out is Daniel Day-Lewis in Lincoln, which I gave a resounding sums up an A. It is a great movie, reasonably historically accurate, well acted, and sort of shows and reminds people of how our democratic process works, which is if you want to build past, it's talking and talking and negotiating and negotiating. It's not taking a gun to somebody's head and blackmailing them or anything like that. So this is definitely a great movie to go see, probably with older kids, and adults. Small children will not enjoy it. It's kind of long for them. There's not enough action. There's not a lot of music or funness to keep children interested. And it's a dark movie. I mean, it's like a dark film. So, and when I say dark film, I mean it's physically a dark film. It's not like a bright, happy film the way um, Legend of the Guardian is. But once again, I gave it an A. It's a great movie. Definitely recommend you go see it. So next for our viewing pleasure for the Thanksgiving holiday is the Twilight Saga final movie, Breaking Dawn. I can only talk about this from the commercials I've seen. I have not gotten to see this movie and I, uh, I'll probably go see it because why not, but I just don't get the whole vampire, high school student werewolf thing, but I've heard from other people that it's adequate, so if you're looking for something adequate and you're a teen girl or a girl who's in the Twilight Zone, you might want to go see Breaking Dawn. I mean, really, if you've seen all the other movies, you're definitely going to go see this one. You don't care about my opinion. Ooh, Skyfall, 007. So I've seen this and I'm going to go see it again. It is a great movie. It's one of my favorite 007 movies that's come out in a couple of years. It reminds me of all the classic 007 movies I grew up with. Uh, Roger Moore was my 007, but this reminds me more of the Sean Connery 007, a little bit of humor, definitely set, definitely of violence, but it's one of the most well-written, well-acted, well-directed 007s I've ever seen, and the villain is to die for. I mean, literally, to die for. He's like killing everybody right and left. So this is a great movie for the family with older kids and adults. Next is Life of Pi, which is a beautifully directed film. I mean, Ang Lee doesn't do anything but great films. It can be a bit slow, and it's definitely more appealing for older kids, i.e. adults, who are interested in a film that is introspective and thoughtful and they'll make you think. There's a lot of religious uh, feeling religious um, viewpoints to it, as well as moral ambiguity and choosing right or wrong, choosing life, and what you will do for survival. It's a great film, it's beautifully animated. You definitely have to see this in 3D. The 3D just adds texture to it and really enriches the film. Next is Anna Karina, which is starring uh, Kira Knightley and Jude Law. Once again, a movie that is not on my list of movies to see at the theater. It looks like a beautiful film, 
it just doesn't look appealing to me at this time of the year. I usually like to see there's something fun and actiony, or something funny, or something happy, or something animated and family friendly. But if you're interested in classic literature, I've heard good things about it, and so you might want to check it out. Once again, with older, let's be honest, they're not even older teens. This is strictly for adults. The average kid is not going to want to watch this. And the final movie that I am going to talk about is Silver, Lining, Silver Linings Playbook. I saw this and I loved it. It was one of the most fun romantic comedies I've seen in a long time. And I suppose you really shouldn't call it a romantic comedy. I think it's almost more of a romantic dramedy or so rom drum and has comic uh, comic moments in it. It's really a great film about dealing with your family, dealing with mental illness, finding love, and learning to love yourself enough to recognize love. So this is Cherry at the movies telling you what to see this holiday season. Have a great Thanksgiving. Bye.